Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today I kind of wanted to talk about the latest uh, tech preview uh, test that we did this weekend. It's one of the most uh, important or monumentous um, testing um, in Star Citizen history. So I thought it was very important for me to also share my um, experience throughout this weekend of the server mesh and test cases that they did do throughout the weekend. So now, um, so just to get straight into it, um, I did uh, do a test on Friday and Saturday. So I'm just gonna go through what I, what my initial experiences was with the Friday uh, testing that I did. And um, when I initially tried to get in, it was uh, it was a little bit tough to get in initially. It, it, I think it was it's because probably a lot of people were also trying to get in at the same time and. You know, so it was quite a bit of work. I'm going to be showing the videos, um, some of the videos from the live stream on um, what was taking place at the time. And um, yeah, so when I finally got gotten access to get in to, to actually log in uh, to load into the PU, I was stuck in the hab for quite a bit. And um, somebody and other players were actually stuck in the bed. And um, even in the hab that I spawned in, there was another player that was already in the bed and that person was stuck as well you know so the the um when i logged in the shard that i was actually in at that time was a 400 player shard and um it was relatively smooth actually it was relatively smooth and um actually even with just this it's it's a huge um progress you know so um for cig and star citizen itself so um, it was very smooth. Um, I eventually gotten out of the hab and was able to go out and go to spaceport, spawn a ship. Um, the traversal even through the um, Orson uh, station. Um, I believe I think it was Orson or Lorville that I, I logged in here, and um, it was it was relatively smooth. It was relatively smooth. The server frame rate per second was around. Uh, between 20 to 30 frames per second it was very good I've never seen these numbers in terms of server performance um, ever you know so um, it's it's a great improvement in terms of freeing up the servers to actually function the way they're meant to function you know so I eventually made it over into um, space um, and to also travel around and and so it seems like the way it works is each landing zone each planet planetary space as and the um general space area are all governed by different game servers so um being in lorvo or orison or you know whichever landing zone that you spawn at you're in at a server at that moment in time once you leave that landing zone you go into another server that's managing the entire planet and then once you leave the space of that planet um, then you go to another area which is governed by another server i think that server is the general server that manages all of the stanton airspace you know what i mean so um it's uh it was really interesting to be able to trans transition between all these servers um, as I was playing seamlessly and it was very smooth high performance and um, it was relatively uh, very very impressive um, what I did notice there was a few bugs of course um, with this their missions weren't really working um, never really gotten a chance to do any FPS um, things but um, we did try to jump around we I think we went to um, uh, the pyro jump gate at that time on Friday uh, to check out the wormhole which was actually still there um, from the initial Evo Kadi uh, test but it wasn't actually working you wouldn't be able to actually jump through but it was nice to see it for the first time at least for me anyways um, but um, yeah so what happened I think at the end of Friday it seemed like we jumped to a certain um, I think one of the other planets or I think it was Crusader and we ended up getting stuck like once you arrive on arrival when you transition into the crusader uh dgs um it, it was kind of like you can't you couldn't function well in terms of uh you, you couldn't interact with anything you were like stuck in the seat of your ship and your ship was essentially cruising into the planet so 
there's a few bugs that uh, CIG needs to work out. And of course, this is the reason why they did do this test. And um, so um, I'm sure they'll iron these things out. So what happened next was on Saturday. Saturday was a really mind blowing experience for me because uh, CIG did set up 800 player shards uh, just to do a few tests. And uh, for me, it took a while to get in. Um, they did initially do a 800 player test and they noticed that there were some performance issues. They wrote it back and did a few config changes and wrote it back out again. And I was able to get onto that server and uh, it was really cool. It was really cool to be able to be on a server that um, was performing well. Not a, well, a shard that was performing well, where, where the servers within those shards are performing well. And to know that there's 800 other players, I mean, we've never heard of anything like this before. So it was a great experience. It was a monumentous um, achievement by CIG to be able to showcase this in 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 um, the tech preview environment. It's really really cool, and um, I'm sure there's going to be a, a lot of bug fixes that they're going to do. There's going to be a lot of information that they gather from this. Um, for them to further fine tune this. Um, but overall, it was a great success, I believe, um, to have static server meshing in for players to actually test it at scale. And um, honestly, I'm really excited for the future of Star Citizen. I cannot wait for Star Citizen Alpha 3.23, but this server meshing test, I believe, was actually to prepare for Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and beyond. So super stoked for it super excited for it just let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below while you're down there make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video take care